Hello everybody and welcome to Sewing with Steve. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about zippers. There's all sorts of different ways you can do zippers. Are you using fabric? Are you using leather? And what style zipper are you gonna do? I'm going to show you all the basic ones that I do and actually some of the ones that I never do, but just because I know that you guys might want to do that. The first zipper is going to definitely be the most basic. So we just have the zip and then you have your fabric. And what I like to do is I like to sew the zipper on top. So when the zipper's on top, this means this is what will not be shown. And this piece, what's on top here, will be the exterior of your piece. So it's right side to right side. You're looking at wrong side and right side. So you're just gonna throw it under the machine. And I use a compensating foot. It's a 1 8 inch compensating foot. Um, super amazing for top stitches on like bags and stuff. But the perfect thing about this foot is it's like, you can see the width of my tape and it gives me the exact dimension I need. So go try to find this compensating foot. If I find one, I will link it below. So at first, you just sew it on. I didn't back tack on the top because I was holding my phone. And then what you're gonna do is just flip it over. Now this is an unfinished seam on the bottom. So you're gonna have this raw stuff like pulling out. So keep that in mind, you can bind this. Like that stitch can be done with binding so that this is covered and not raw. But if you don't mind the raw, then do it this way. Flip it over, you pull it as much as you can. The compensating foot literally fits the exact distance between the edge of the fabric and the zipper. So that's like your guide all the way down. So there is zipper number one. Nice clean finish on the top. The second style of zipper I want to do is gonna be when you are using lining in your bag. So this, say this is the exterior and this is the lining. You can see that this side, maybe you can see, maybe you can't, that this side's shiny and this side is the actual side that's uh, going to be shown on the interior of the bag. So this is the right side. And this is canvas, it doesn't matter what the right side is. So we're gonna call that our right side. So we're going to layer these two pieces over our zipper. Now, a super easy way to do this, so you know you're getting a really good stitch, is just to do one at a time. Now this is terrible for production, but it's wonderful when you're doing like a one-off product. So I'll run this stitch. And then what I'll do is I'll actually turn this over. No, I won't. This is what I do. <laughs> right sides up. I, I put my layer exactly how I want it and then I'll turn it over. Now the beautiful thing is I can see the stitch that I just did. So as long as I make sure the edges are aligned and I just follow that stitch, this is probably one of my favorite tricks. And then here I spread and I know that I have like this perfect balance. So I will press this down with my fingers and then I'll switch it and I'll press this down with my fingers. Wax canvas is wonderful because it just like stays. And then you want to fold it over and you just always want to be applying this like bottom pull to away from the sewing machine while you're sewing that top stitch. So I'll get it set and kind of have both of my fingers, like all my fingers sandwiched and pulling. And voila, there's the top, there's the bottom. So that's how you would do like a lined bag. Next, I had my buddy Cameron hit me up. He's like, how do you sew with leather on? And like, my answer is, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, but this would be my assumption on what he's asking. 
Um, probably looking for a compensating foot that sets that gap for him. And this is just like raw, non skive leather. This is gonna be a raw top. All I'm gonna do is, is line this up. I'm gonna line this up and I'm just gonna use that foot uh, piece as my guide. Like that's gonna sit, that compensating edge is gonna sit in the groove. And then I'm gonna get this perfect 1 8 inch stitch. So there you have it. Nice, beautiful stitch. Um, nice on the bottom. It's not going anywhere. The next is going to be leather with a skived edge. Now I have a skiving machine, so I'm like super lucky. Um, but I realized that you guys probably don't have a skiving machine. If you do, that's great. If not, like you have to do this by hand. It's the worst. And this is no different than fabric. Like absolutely no different than fabric. I'm just going to do right side up, throw on my zip, sit her up, and then just keep that edge aligned. Now I'm using like a medium weight machine, uh, which works with this Horian Chrome Excel, but like some of you guys, you might have to jump onto a leather machine depending on the weight. I don't even, I'm not sure that this machine will handle this. It probably will because it's a badass machine. Um, but then you just turn it over just like you would anything else and then stitch it down. Yep. This Chrome Excel is such butter that this just runs right through. So now you see you have this beautiful top stitch uh, and then you have your interior. You don't have to worry about the leather uh, fraying because leather doesn't do that. You could probably line it up better than I did, but you know, who cares? Like that looks fantastic um, and anybody is going to be pumped about this. So there you have it. I mean, you've got the leather one with a turnover. You've got the flat leather one. You've got the fabric with a lining on it. And then you've just got the normal one. Uh, this one's not bound, but you could also bind it. Uh, I found this great source for binding attachments out of China. Uh, Kwa King, I think. I'll link it below, like check the links. But Kwa King's super cheap. So what I did is I went and I bought like 15 of these things for like 100 bucks and then paid for shipping, right? It's like worth getting 15. So I just got all these attachments and I only use like four of them, but still like what a great investment. Anyways, just an idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode with zippers. If you didn't learn what you want to learn, like leave a comment, ask me what you want to make a video about, like just tell me what you want to make a video about. And if I know it, like I want to make a video because I just want to share all the knowledge that I have um, sewing with these types of materials and making bags like that's just what I do for a living and like if I can help you guys do it better like that's awesome and so fulfilling to me uh, so ask.